she's tight. If you're building one of these cars and you plan on keeping it, I recommend leaving that upper rad shroud not welded in, bolted in. Because you can take that out and you can roll that motor and transmission in nice and level. Uh, makes things a lot easier. But I'm not out of the woods yet because I found out today that 440s are different depending on what they were in. Um, this one came out of an RV. So the sump is at the back and that's in the way of the steering. So I had to pull the, uh, the oil pickup tube out. This one's threaded. So that oil pan and that pickup tube won't work. I've got that off right now. I'm going to have to raid one. Back to the wrecking yard I go. 383 and 440 are supposed to be the same, so it shouldn't be too bad. I know where there's a few 383s. But the motor's in. Ugly stock manifold. It's actually in the way of the uh, steering box. So that's okay. I'm gonna have to find one of those too. Something a little more suitable. Upper rod support bolted into place. Those lame chrome rocker covers gotta go. A couple of stock ones there. Radiator and an oil pan. And uh, this thing should be good to go. We're seeing slight snow flurries. This is not good. Well, beginning of the week. I'll make a video while I'm out there. <laughs> 